Hey guys, Brett here connecting from UV Central and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Shuffler outfit in Watch Dogs 2 which also comes with a pretty cool takedown animation. Before we get started, I would like to thank the Watch Dogs Discord server for originally finding this. As always, I'll have a link to their Discord chat in the description down below. But without further ado, let's get started. Now this outfit is pretty complicated to unlock, so please follow along closely, and if you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer them in the comments down below. So first things first, you'll want to make your way to this specific location on the map. Once you're there, you'll want to find this box cart. I think there's only two in the whole area, so it shouldn't be that hard to find. But anyways, once you're inside, you'll want to turn on the net hack ability and you'll see a blue symbol on the wall. Now there's going to be three more symbols after this and you have to memorize all of them because it will be different for every single person. So go get a pen and paper and draw whatever symbol you get or take an actual photo on your phone because you will need to reference this later on. Anyways, once that's taken care of, you'll want to take out the camera in game and take a photo of those markings. If done properly, you'll hear some pretty creepy dialogue, followed by the DeadSec members talking about what they just heard. Moving on, you'll want to make your way to North Oakland, and to make things easier, you can just fast travel to the sailboat activity, which is here. Once you're all loaded in, just go around the lake a bit until you find a little shed. Now this shed will have wood surrounding it, so you'll need to destroy that. I threw an IED, but I'm sure a car would easily take down the fence as well. Now just like last time, go into NetHack, and you'll see a blue symbol. Again, take a picture of this on your real phone or draw the symbol because you will need it for later on. When that's finished, take out the camera in game and take a photo of the markings on the wall. If done correctly, more dialogue will start. Onto the third location, you'll want to make your way to the train tracks which can be found here on the map. Turn on NetHack until you find a blue symbol and again follow the previous steps as last time by drawing the symbol or taking a photo of it. Then turn off NetHack and take a photo of the markings in game. And onto the final symbol location, you'll need to go to the cemetery, which is located right here. Repeat the same steps as the last three symbols, and you should be good to go. Again, you'll know you're doing it right when dialogue happens after taking a picture of the markings. So continuing on with the last few steps, you'll need to pay close attention because this can be very tricky for some people. You'll need to head to the main HQ in San Francisco and more specifically go to Josh's desk once you're inside. So right above his computer, there will be a piece of paper with a bunch of symbols on it. I'm going to pause the video here for a bit so you can use this as a reference if you would like. So throughout this video, I've been telling you to draw or take pictures of the four symbols you saw while in NetHack. Like I mentioned, these symbols will be different for every single person, so please listen carefully. At the bottom of this paper, you will notice the numbers 0 through 9. You'll need to find the exact symbols you came across in order to get your four numbers. For me, it was 2, 3, 1, 3. But again, this will most likely be different than yours. So once you have your four numbers, this will be an actual time. For me, it was 2313, which is military time, it would also be 1113 PM. Once you've figured out your own time, you will need to head to this specific location on the map. When you're finally there, you'll have to wait until the time you got matches the time in game. So again, for me, it was 1113 PM. By the way, you can also rest in the main HQ so you can speed up time and don't have to wait like 10 hours in game. Anyways, when your time finally matches up, you'll hear a distorted noise. Once you hear this noise and your time matches up, you will need to pull out your phone Am and I take a thing? picture of the wall. You'll have to do this really fast because you will basically have two or maybe three seconds. If you end up missing it, just go back to the HQ and then rest again. It's not really that big of a deal. 
but if done properly, the wall will have a three question mark prompt and a cutscene will be triggered. Five, eight, 13, stop. No, it wasn't real. It couldn't be. So now you have unlocked the Shuffler outfit, which is pretty cool. But it also comes with one of the coolest takedown animations ever. As far as I know, you can only use this on gang members, but it's still very cool, nothing less. It's just so satisfying to use this and even hear it. I mean, you can literally hear the bones cracking when using this on an enemy. It is so good. As I mentioned though, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below, but I hope this video explained things pretty well. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all later.